Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to this Adjuster TV special weather update. My name is Max Olson and I'm reporting here live from Florida. We are near Port Charlotte, which is south of Tampa. We're scoping out various locations for a potential intercept or to place our instrumented probes. And we're gonna be doing this all day today before going back, retrieving everything that we need and getting ready to actually intercept the storm, which will be making landfall at some point late tomorrow, but it's going to get started very early in the day on Wednesday. All right, so over at the computer now, we're looking at a satellite image of Hurricane Ian. It's got very impressive structure, classic eye with intense deep convection or thunderstorm development around that eye. It is currently a category three, expected to become a category four, and it is going to be a close call for the Florida coast. Um, right now, if we look at some of the computer models, it has the same coming in at probably category four to category three, um, but it does start to slow down right along the coast. Now, that may be a little bit of a good thing because it'll give it a little bit of time to start weakening, but it's a really bad thing because it's just going to be pumping onshore flow onto the coastline for hours and hours. I mean, potentially some models have it sitting here for 12 plus hours, and that would be catastrophic. Even if it does go, you know, this model has it kind of coming in right about Tampa Bay, but all the way down here, all the way down to like the Port Charlotte area is gonna be receiving record-breaking storm surge. Um, we haven't seen a storm of this intensity take this track in a very long time. So uh, the true impacts are completely unknown. We know there's going to be bad storm surge. We know there's probably going to be pretty significant wind damage now that this is going to be coming in as a major hurricane, but we just don't have a lot to compare this to. So it's going to be an unprecedented event for the area. If we take a look at the actual uh, hurricane cone of uncertainty from the NHC, we can see that slowdown. Those markers get closer and closer together, indicating the storm slowing down right as it's starting to make landfall. And they do have it at uh, making landfall at about Tampa Bay, 2 a.m. Thursday morning, but because it's going to be so close offshore during Wednesday afternoon, you're still going to be almost in the eye wall of the hurricane for a good portion of the day. It's just going to be stalled out. Looking once again at the tracks, they have been shifting south. Um, a few days ago, we were looking at a potential uh, landfall in this Big Bend region, and now it's just been shifting south, 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 and that gives it less time to weaken. The further north that it was going to go, the more it was going to have time to weaken. Now, the further south it's going, it just doesn't have time. This is the prime area for it to strengthen, and it looks like it's going to take full advantage of that and come in right into the Florida coastline as a major hurricane, category three, potentially even category four. Let's look at some of the storm surge inundation. If it were to take the track that it's uh, you know, supposed to take right now, which would bring it in about Tampa Bay area, maybe just a little south, Sarasota, this is the storm surge inundation that we're looking at. Tampa Bay area, probably in that three to six foot range, potentially along the bay. Uh, this area surges very easily, even though it'll be offshore flow, it's still gonna be pushing water in. And then down here, which is where I'm at right now in Port Charlotte, it's going to be very bad because it's going to have that onshore flow coming directly from the Gulf and pushing right into this bay and then uh, coming basically right where I'm at right now. This area could be underwater uh, in 24 plus hours. Um, if we go back over here, just do one last look. We'll do the radar imagery. This is what it looks like now. Finally, just coming off of Cuba and we can see that classic eye wall with the eye these uh, little lightning indicators showing that that's a very strong band of convection or thunderstorms on the northern side of that eye. And uh, all these outer bands are making their way towards Florida. And actually we have a tornado watch in all of South Florida because these outer bands have potential for uh, some tornadic activity. So very serious situation here. We're going to uh, be scouting out all these locations for the foreseeable future. And we're gonna ride it out somewhere in the vicinity, probably Sarasota to Port Charlotte is what we're thinking right now. And um, we'll be deploying probes, we'll be shooting video, and we'll be sure to check back if there's anything else, any other updates here at Adjuster TV where you can get all of the latest information for adjusters. Thank you guys. Stay safe out there.